Hey everybody, going broke trucker here, back in the shop again. Hey, oh, don't, don't need to do that now. Uh, but uh, back in the shop again. This time having some fuel problems. Um, and I run the Detroit 60 Series D60 fuel pump, right? Well, fuel filter right there. Notice that some air bubbles in it, um, and like a little like oil, but it wasn't. Uh, we don't know exactly what it is. Um, we found some little flakes. We don't know if it's a fuel line that's deteriorating and possibly getting into it. Um, also on this truck, there's the fuel pump. And there was a plug that goes right here. Well, that plug was missing. Don't know how it got gone or whatever. I'm hoping that might be the problem, the reason why I was getting air into the fuel filter. Again, there's a little bit of air bubbles in so we had to put a plug in it. Hopefully it takes care of the problem. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so back in the shop for uh, another round. Hopefully uh, that's it morning, this time. Everybody. But um, check you out a little bit. I wish I was back in bed right now, but uh, I wish I'd never gotten out of bed with it like that. Uh, well, got out of the shop last night. Um, I think we figured out pretty much what was going on with the fuel pump. At least that's what we're hoping. Um, but yeah, we're in Robertsdale, Alabama. Um, just leaving the shop. We're gonna be uh, heading down to Lakeland, Florida. Uh, gonna see if we can uh, get motivated this morning. It's about 2.30, in, about two o'clock in the morning. Um, we're gonna see if we can get myself motivated, get down the road. Uh, got loaded, just picking up this afternoon. Um, we are tonight um, heading back in, out of Texas. But yeah. All right. Well, hope everybody's having a great day. Everybody's blessed. Time to roll, time to roll. You see me coming, I'm coming. Get out the way, get out the way. I need a quarter mile to pump my brakes, pump my brakes. Disrespect the truck and you can ride behind me. I ain't got nothing. shop again today oh lord isn't this just great um so this is like the second time in a week i'm really living up to my name um so had a fuel pump problem blah 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 you know that the other day then get went left out of here went down to florida grabbed a load started coming back started having some problems with my batteries our alternator starter can't figure, couldn't figure it out um but checked everything Everything's good. Everything's working. Um, 
so it's not the battery's alternator starter so the only other problem it could be is going to probably have a power inverter in the truck to run fridge for you know stuff like that so it possibly could be that so that's going to be the next thing on the list to change is going to be the power inverter so yay me um as well it's in a bad spot i wanted to move it anyway so i guess here's my excuse but yeah so up to date it is back in the shop again back here in robertsdale at uh kind of like the i guess the home shop even though it's not the home shop but i guess i live here all right, so everybody going but, uh, right, again. Well, shaking a little bit time for a new adventure i guess we were at i-10 eastbound just dropped the load off in fort worth yesterday um after leaving the shop went out there dropped off uh now we are i-10 eastbound in louisiana uh just stopped in hammond to 30. um and we are on our way back to the shop in robertsdale um, got a little issue going on with the truck again <laughs> reoccurring situation um, but my boost pressure is not dropping when I'm running on level flat ground it's supposed to go you know, as you take off your boost pressure is going to increase then once you level off it's supposed to go back down but mine's not I run 65 miles an hour right now and I'm holding over 20 pounds of boost um, so that should drop down, which is killing my fuel mileage. So we're gonna go find out what's wrong with that now. Hopefully it's not something major, something we can just fix real quick. All right, well, back at it again today, the again today. in the shop. Uh, got some work done. Uh, this little part right here, uh, it is a, I can't even remember the name of it now, but it is a boost pressure sensor. Bolts up right here, plug. Um, this one here apparently gone bad, um, so now we are changing out, put the new one on, and we're going to throw some new air filters in it. Just they're a little old, probably time to change them. All right. sensor in the air filter today and it seems like he's running a little smoother i don't know if it's the sensor or what um but we'll get on the road and see what happens see if it makes a difference
supposed to be going back down to Lakeland, but uh, well, stuff happens. Stuff uh, can't see, I guess. So, uh, so plans change. Got to go somewhere else. All right, y'all. Things kind of change, plans change. We end up having to come up to Georgia to uh, kind of rescue a load. The driver broke down, um, turbo went out, and load had to get there. Um, I was in a good position, I guess you would say, to where I could run up, grab his, swap trailers with him, um, because I just had a, a load that was just going back to the bakery that really didn't have to get there anytime soon. Um, so I was able to drop my trailer off with him, grab his loaded, loaded trailer, and run up to uh, Georgia with it to make the delivery. Uh, now we're just sitting below, um, I guess, make around, well, above Macon um, at a truck stop. We're calling it quits. A little bit's in the back and doing our hair or something. It's trying to look pretty for me, I guess, or a little pretty for y'all. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the views, you know what I mean? Uh, she's doing that, cooking dinner. We uh, we calling it quits. Uh, we're gonna take some, take us a little bit of a break. But uh, that's gonna be it right now, and uh, we'll catch you back uh, uh, when we get back on the road. Y'all, everybody be good, be blessed.